morning, Southern West Virginia. Hopefully everyone's staying warm right now. This is a Doppler radar. We are tracking some snow showers to our northwest. It will eventually move down to the southeast. It is some upsloping snow showers, so we'll see this in the morning. But other than that, in the after afternoon, we'll stay dry. The temperatures right now are in the low teens, 11 degrees in Lewisburg, 11 in Raynell, 18 degrees and Union, while it's 14 in Athens and Hinton. Now these are the wind chill factors across southern West Virginia. It is very cold. It feels like negative one degrees in Beckley, and that feels like negative three degrees in Bluefield. And we do have a wind, we have wind chill advisory for most of southern West Virginia uh, until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's just because we're gonna have these wind chill factors and the negatives for today and tomorrow morning. Now check out the wind chill factors across the eastern part of the United States. For us, it feels like negative one degrees, but compared to Chicago, it feels like negative 45 degrees. We actually have a live look. Look at this. Chicago is really cold. It's not from day after tomorrow, <laughs> but it is very, very cold in Chicago. This is the extent of future cast, and we're gonna see some very gusty Wednesday because as you can see, these little white lines, these are isobars. So usually when they're really like close together, uh, means we're going to see very gusty winds, especially from the northwest. So we will see some upsloping snow showers this morning, but then we start to dry out as the high pressure system eventually moves down to the east. So our winds start to shift from northwest to north. So we're going to get even colder temperatures for tomorrow. The great news is it won't last too long because the high pressure system eventually moves to the east. And our wind direction starts to change from the south. We'll warm up, but once we start to warm up, our instability of showers start to ramp back up as we're getting warm, moist air into southern West Virginia. So there's a great chance for isolated showers for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Now this is a future cast where we're going to start seeing snow showers. You know, about 9.30 this morning, we're going to see scattered snow showers because of upsloping snow, but that will eventually move off this afternoon and we're going to stay clear skies, but temperatures are going to be in the teens and temperatures are going to be even colder by tomorrow. Check out the frost freeze forecast for this week. For tomorrow morning, it's going to feel like it's going to be negative five degrees with the wind chill factor probably around negative 15 degrees. So it's going to be very chilly, bundle up, definitely wear the extra layers, but we'll start to warm up very rapidly because by Monday morning, our morning lows are going to be in the 40s and maybe even by Wednesday morning in the 50s. But to survive for today, we're going to see extremely cold temperatures. So wear three layers. Make sure you have gloves on. If you have pants, make sure you put two layers on. And for your extended forecast, we have cold Arctic temperatures for the couple days, but we start to warm up by Friday. We're going to see some scattered showers because of instability of air because of warm moist air and then by the weekend we're going to warm back up and by Sunday for Super Bowl Sunday we're going to warm up in the 50s partly cloudy skies and we're going to warm up even more by Tuesday in the upper 50s and we'll continue to have partly cloudy skies but the rain chances will still be there as we're seeing warm and moist air.